What is up people of the internet? It's your boy Set Free coming to you today with a how-to video. Um, I know a lot of the videos that I've had in the past have been pickups, new releases. I'm gonna be doing some custom shoot tutorials, um, but this is one that I think um, you guys will benefit from, not only because I haven't seen it on the internet, but because I'm doing it in a way that's kind of like an industry secret. Um, some of you are gonna watch this video and be like, why in the world would you wanna clean the bottom of your shoes? You're Bottoms of your shoes are supposed to touch the floor. They're supposed to get dirty. So I get it. This is not gonna be for everybody. Not everybody is going to wanna to clean the bottom of their shoes, um, but there are some people out there that do, uh, especially with clear soles or soles that are white like these. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna show you guys a few different ways to do it. Um, you know, you can do it with cleaner. It just takes a lot longer, a lot more elbow grease, um, and it just is not gonna come out as well as if you're going to do this type of method. Um, again, like I said, a lot of um, people do this, and uh, you know, shoe restorers are you know, the people that um, you know, bring shoes back to life, so to speak, that are beaters. Um, they use this method, um, and I know that a lot of people have not talked about it, and some people do know it out there, but I figured I'll go ahead and share this with you guys so you guys um, are able to do this at home as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna back this camera up a little bit so that you guys can see full frame exactly what I am doing. Um, I don't want you guys to miss anything. So as you can see from the picture, um, these right here have been worn quite a few times. Um, I chose these, one, because they're white, so the dirt shows up a little bit better. Um, but number two, they're rubber soles, so they're probably the hardest ones um, to get clean. So I just wanted to show you guys that first um, so you guys are aware that these are indeed um, a pair of worn shoes. They got a couple of marks on the bottom and stuff like that. So again, um, you know, wanted to show you guys these before I start. Here is a couple of different things that you can use. Now, my preference, and this again is an industry secret, is lacquer thinner, okay? Now here's the thing. Lacquer thinner is extremely strong. It's gonna take the paint off your shoes. So you wanna make sure that you are wearing gloves, um, either that or I wrap my, the finger, uh, the hand that I'm gonna use um, with tape on that side of the three fingers. So I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. If you don't have gloves, that's another way of doing it. Um, you know, you definitely don't wanna be using, like here, these are, um, set of gloves that I have, these are just gonna get soaking. Like they're not gonna work, like mechanics gloves. You're just gonna soak these because they're made out of material. So you wanna get rubber gloves, um, and even those, this stuff can eat away at the rubber. So that's number one. This is the strongest way to do it. This is the quickest way of doing it, the least amount of elbow grease. You use this stuff. Okay, second is a nail polish remover. You can use nail polish remover, okay? That's the second. And thirdly, and lastly, is alcohol wipes, or excuse me, alcohol. 70%, um, they go all the way up to, I think, believe like 94%. Um, that's a little bit stronger. So those are the three options that you guys have, and then you're gonna want you know, a clean, you know, it doesn't even have to be clean, but a, uh, a white rag um, that's more or less like this because it's got a little bit of roughage to it. So that's how you guys wanna be using this to clean your shoes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna be using some tape to wrap around my fingers because I don't wanna get my fingers destroyed. This stuff is really strong. Again, the lacquer thinner is extremely strong. So I'm going to just wrap um, my fingers, that well, sounds weird, but with the tape um, and or, um, you know, anything that you can put around your hand so you don't, um, basically so you don't get this stuff bleeding through and like, you know, it's going to sting if you have any cuts on your fingers like I do. So it's basically like this. So you're using these, these two fingers and you're going to be cleaning the bottom of the shoes. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, I'm gonna open up the lacquer thinner. So, let's see you guys can see. You're gonna dab some on this, okay? So, I'm gonna show you guys and you're gonna see right in front of your eyes how this is gonna work, okay? Look at that. Can you see that already? Okay, so I'm telling you guys, this is something that works extremely fast. So I'm just barely, working it and look at that see that now if you guys can see it I'm gonna focus in a little bit cl closer let's see let's check it out I'll take the tape off my fingers I'm over here like stuck with the tape on my fingers um, but I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more uh, close up see that 
Okay, that is just with one pass of the lacquer thinner. Now that is something where, like again, like I said, it's only gonna work on rubber, okay? Or maybe, you know, like, um, like Roshi Run, midsole, stuff like that. I use it on that stuff. I use it on, um, you know, van skate highs that are, you know, vulcanized rubber, but anything that has paint on it, if it is painted, do not repeat, do not use this. It will take the paint right off. See that right there? That's not paint, okay? Those are, that's basically molded rubber right there. So the letters you can go over. So you have to really know what shoe you're working on because again, like I said, you do not want to get in a position where you are taking, um, you know, the dirt off your shoes, but then you're ending up taking the actual paint off your shoes as well. That defeats the whole purpose if you ruin your shoes while trying to paint them. Um, and again, if you guys can hear that, there's a helicopter um, outside. Um, I'm in a well ventilated area. I'm like in a, um, like, basically like a foyer of my house where the doors are open. You wanna make sure you're in a well ventilated area because this stuff smells. Um, I'm gonna show you the difference right here between using alcohol um, and how well it does on the other shoe. So I'll show you really quick. This stuff you don't really need. Uh, alcohol in itself, you know, can't hurt you. Um, you know, as far as uh, getting on your hands or your fingers. So here's the other shoe. I'm gonna rub it really quick with the alcohol. <clears throat> and it works. Somewhat, okay? This is gonna take a whole lot longer, excuse me, um, but I'm having to use a lot more elbow grease to get that portion clean. Now, let's see if I can uh, focus in on that and show you guys. Okay, see that? Um, it works, but again, it doesn't work as well as the, um, you know, as the uh, lacquer thinner. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're near something that, you know, on a midsole that has paint on it and you don't want even chance using the lacquer thinner, then go ahead and use the alcohol. I mean, not that the alcohol can't damage something on the shoe, but it's less likely, okay? Here's the third thing, nail polish remover. And this one is right in the middle. Um, nail polish remover, again, you can use on your hand without worrying about having to tape your fingers up or wearing gloves because again, you know, you use it on your hands to get your nail polish off. Not you guys, but any girls that are watching. Um, or hey, you know, I don't know if guys wear nail polish or not, but see, here's a nail polish remover. In the center right here is where I cleaned. So this one took a lot less. It was a lot easier, um, but not quite as easy as the lacquer thinner. So now that we've shown you all three, you can make your decision. There is the nail polish remover. Okay, let's focus in on all this stuff. Here's the nail polish remover, here's the shoes. Um, I'm gonna put those to the side. There is the alcohol. And here is the lacquer thinner. So again, or maybe I should put them like this, so that way you guys know. From strongest, right here, to second strongest, to third strongest. They will all work. So again, if you wanna get the bottom of your shoes clean, this is a way to do it. Well ventilated area, make sure your hands are protected. If not, like I said, use the tape method like I did. Um, you're gonna make sure that you have a rag that has a little bit of like, you know, like I said, um, some kind of roughage to it, not completely smooth. Um, like a really, really soft rag, you wanna use that so at least it gets in there. Um, if you wanna clean the bottom of your shoes first with a cleaner, you guys can do that too. But I mean, it's not really necessary because as you saw, the alcohol, the nail polish remover, and the lacquer thinner basically takes it off for you. So it's not necessity to go ahead and clean it before. And really, again, you know, here's the other thing. You might wanna wear gloves because whatever you're cleaning that was outside, um, you know, is gonna get on your hands. So you wanna make sure uh, that you're, you're protecting yourself with you know, the cloth that you're using. You're not touching the bottom of your shoes directly with your hands and then, you know, making sure that you keep that clean. So wash your hands afterwards because you're basically, you know, trying to clean the bottom of your shoes with your hands um, that you eat with and stuff. So again, um, not for everybody. Some people want to keep their shoes, the bottom of your shoes clean. If that is the case, ba -ba -ba -ba, my product is called KitGuard. Um, and I have to promo this because I always do. What this is, and the um, best way I can explain it is like a screen protector for the bottom of your shoes. It is rubberized, it is texturized, um, it has got 
adhesion. It's basically like a sticker that goes on the bottom of your shoes. I don't like to explain it that way because when people think sticker, they think thin. There's other products out there that are just like this, like, I'm not gonna mention the names of the companies, but they use um, car paint protectant film. And that stuff is not made for the bottom of your shoes. It's very thin, it's very slippery, has no grip to it. This is completely different. It took me about two years to develop this and make a working product to where it didn't peel off, it didn't rub off, it didn't tear, um, and it was wearable and flexible and you're not gonna slide everywhere. So again, what it does is it comes in a sheet um, and you trace around that sheet to the, you know, basically, I don't know if you guys can see this, but let's see if I can get as close as possible. Focus this. Um, you're gonna trace around, cut it, and then just adhere it with, um, like, just like a sticker, it's like a screen protector. Um, and then you guys use, um, you know, a heat gun uh, to set it in. But again, you know, as you can see here, it's like a sticker that goes on. And then when you're done, whoosh, peel it off and you can put a new one on. Um, they last, I don't know, depends on how, how, how you walk. Um, I've had these for, I think, five, six wears, uh, but you, you know, I've seen pairs last up to 30, and some last up to only five wears. It depends on how hard you are in your shoes. Um, and again, you know, this is to keep the bottoms clean um, after you clean them, um, or if you get dead stock pair of shoes, you throw them on before, so you don't have to ever worry about cleaning them. So that's an option. I'm gonna leave the link in the description to, in, in the description below if you guys would like to order them. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. It's always fun to read your comments. So if you guys have anything um, that you'd like to share, any suggestions on videos that um, you'd like to see, next one up is gonna be a custom shoe tutorial and a couple of other things. So I uh, hope you guys liked it. God bless and have a Good day. Take care. Bye-bye.